Hi, my name is Bruce Doran. I'm one of the staff scientists that works here at Science North and we are in our special exhibits hall with the Body Worlds exhibit. And in front of me is the brain exhibit. Uh, we have uh, three specimens, three plastinated brains. And what's really special is that when you look inside the brain, you will notice there are holes in the brain that are called ventricles. And these ventricles are filled with a fluid called cerebral spinal fluid, which also goes around the brain. And it works to kind of like shock absorbers to help protect the brain against certain types of hits or different types of shocks that might happen to the head. So it does help to prevent certain types of injuries to the brain. But when the shock is too great, that is not enough. So I want to show you a model what happens to your brain when too much shock is actually applied to it. So I'm in front of two models right here. So I have a human skull and I have a gelatinous model of a human brain. And when you actually look at a human brain up close and you touch a human brain, it feels or has the consistency of jello which is really, really important to note because that is why we have a hard skull to protect the soft brain that's in there. But what happens when that head moves very quickly or exposed to a certain type of shock or force? So I'm gonna show you right now what happens to the brain when a certain type of force is given to it. So I have my brain right here in the pan and let's see what happens. I'll just simulate with my hand what would happen if you were to be hit by some type of force on your head and we're going to see what happens to the brain. As you can see, it jiggles, all right? And it can jiggle pretty bad depending on how much force is given to it. So you could just imagine that, that brain will then jiggle inside your head. The cerebral spinal fluids and also the ventricle will try to absorb some of that force, but that brain will then jiggle, hit the side of the skull, thereby hitting it, damaging some neurons that hit the side of the skull. And also, uh, neuroscientists have also discovered that whenever it jiggles like that, some of the neurons, the cells of the brain, will start to expand and contract, which further causes injuries to the brain. And one of the major injuries that can happen to the brain, especially when you apply a lot of force and shock to it, is concussions. And on August 14th, we're gonna have three clinicians three clinicians from this Sudbury Sport and Exercise Medicine Concussion Clinic that will come here on August 14th between 12 and 3 p.m. to give a presentation about concussions. And also we will have workshops that these clinicians will uh, use to demonstrate how uh, different doctors and healthcare professionals can diagnose if somebody has a concussion. And also we'll have a couple stations where people can simulate what it feels to have a concussion. So if you wanna learn more about the human brain and concussions, join us here at Science North on August 14th.